Hey everybody, we're going to do a quick video today about section 11.2.1, Start and End G Code Scripts in Luke Hatfield's Help Guide. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. <laughs> All right, so why the heck will we do this? Well, the reason that I like to do it is because it treats the starting G code kind of like a cleaning exercise. It purges the filament very quickly through the nozzle to prevent buildup and clogging. It helps, quote, scrub and clean the nozzle while it's doing it, and it purges old filament out from the nozzle left over from the prints before. Just a quick note, this is set up for the Ender 3 or similar printers. If you have anything different, reach out to myself or re reach out to Luke and we'll get you some uh, G-code for your printer or help you determine what the best G-code is if you want. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and open up Luke Hatfield's help guide and uh, we're going to scroll down to the index and uh, I already had it open, but I just need to get to section 11.2.1. So we'll scroll down. Uh, Luke has it set up, so all you have to do is click on the section you want. It'll take you right there. So that's what we'll do. And now we're at section 11.2.1. So now that we're looking at 11.2.1, uh, we can look at a couple things. Number one, uh, what is an M code? You see M's and you'll see G's here in the starting code. Well, M is a modal uh, command, which means non-movement command. It basically tells your 3D printer to do something. For example, turn the fan off. If you scroll down a little farther, it says turn off extruder. That's an M code. Turn off bed. That's an M code here. Um, disable the motors. That's an M code. Um, so that's what a modal or an M code does. If you go look at the G code, so the G code is going to actually be a motion code. It's going to tell your 3D printer to go do something. For example, G28, that homes the X, Y, and Z access to their end stops. Uh, if you look a little bit further down, G1, uh, you know, right here, it says to retract a little. That's what a G code does. It, it actually tells your 3D printer to go do something that's motion related. So if you look and we just go through this a little bit, Basically, what this is going to tell us to do is turn fans off. It's going to home the X, Y, and Z axes. It's going to go to the front of the bed, uh, drop the nozzle down to the bed, zero the length of the extruder. It's going to push filament out very quickly. It's going to zero the length of the extruder again, then retract just a little bit. It's going to wait for eight seconds and then do a wipe away from the filament line raise and then begin the print. So Luke does a very good job in uh, telling us exactly what each one's going to do. So now what do we do with that? So I'm going to be using Kira 3.6.0 for this demonstration. So we're going to go to settings, printer, manage printers. There we go. And then I'm going to click on the Ender 3 test I set up and click on machine settings. And I'm going to go ahead and expand this a little bit so we can see what the heck is going on. Um, so it's not all squished. So we'll get it expanded out. There we go. So if you look at the starting G code, the default G code that Kira gives the Ender 3 in the profile, uh, it looks like it does a few things. It homes all accesses. It resets the extruder. It moves the Z axis up a little to prevent the scratching. Uh, moves to a start position goes ahead and draws a first line, moves a little over, draws a second line, and then uh, resets the extruder, and then moves the Z up to prevent any scratching of the heat bed, and then it starts your print. So at this point, we wanna go back to the help guide and uh, click and highlight everything from start G code to everything right there, right before end G code right click and choose copy and then we'll move on to the next step so back in kira now we're going to go ahead and highlight everything in the start g code side and click paste that'll paste everything we did uh, but it's going to be kind of weird so what we're going to do is go through and fix this and we're going to just enter before all of the commands so the command will be first then the description after that on each one of these 
sometimes it pastes in weird like this, sometimes it doesn't. So I just wanted to go over this in case it does. Um, you, you do need it to read down and not across. So we're gonna go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, clip, keep clicking on these and, and uh, just separating all of the lines of G-code just like that, and that's it. So you should have it all in a straight line like this. All the, uh, the commands should be straight with no spaces. Something to note quick, if you do have a BL touch or an easy ABL, you need to add a G29 command under the G28 line. And what that'll do is, uh, if I can get the right character, <laughs> it will add a uh, mesh bed leveling um, to your starting G code. So we'll just type in, there we go, automatic. There we go. So you do need to add that G29 in if you're using a BL Touch or an Easy ABL. So at this point, your starting G code should be good. It should all look just in a line like this. And we can look at the ending G code. Um, the default ending G code for the under three is actually pretty good. Pretty much, um, you know, it's not bad. If you want to use Luke's, you can put his in. I usually just use the default myself. Uh, but if you go through it, basically it shuts everything down, it cools everything off, and then it'll actually present the uh, plate forward in the print. That way your print comes forward on the bed and you can take it off easily. So I, I prefer to leave that. Uh, if you do want to put Luke's in, you can do that, but that's totally up to you. So at this point, you can close this window and close this second window here. And anything you add to the bed and slice with this printer is going to use that starting and ending G code. That's it. We're done. All right. Now that we're done, a quick cleanup here. This was made for an Ender 3 or similar model. It may not work on yours. So reach out to Lou Catfield if you have a different model and he can help you with your starting G code. Uh, also, you can use this to import any G code you want to your starting or ending G code. It doesn't have to be Luke's, but I like Luke's help guide and I, I really like his starting G code. But if a friend of yours has some you like, you can use this to import that G code as well. Um, also, last but not least, this was a high level video. Uh, it's just used to help people get started, a very basic video. There's so much more to learn about G code um, that I don't even start to know about. Um, learning as I go and, and trying to learn as well. So uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, keep printing. Please like the video, click subscribe if you want to see more, and click on the little bell if you want to be notified when the next great videos come out.